Hello viewers and subscribers, this is the Geo Scholar. Time for another video about geography of U.S. states. The last video about state geography involved the state of Oregon. We're staying within the letter O on this one and showing Oklahoma's geography. The state of Oklahoma is known for its prairies being part of the Great Plains. However, there is so much more to Oklahoma than just that. For starters, this state could be described as, well, a transition zone. It borders New Mexico, Colorado, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, and Texas. It sits where the Southwest, Midwest, the South, and the Great Plains meet. Its geography is a testament to this. Let's start with Northwest Oklahoma. Northwest Oklahoma, including the Oklahoma Panhandle, is part of the High Plains. You have a lot of prairie in this region. There are a lot of mesas and buttes. This reflects its location, proximity towards Texas, New Mexico, Colorado, and Kansas. In fact, the highest point in Oklahoma, Black Mesa, is in Northwest Oklahoma in the Panhandle. It shares its border with Colorado and New Mexico. Southwest Oklahoma also consists of prairies and grassland. You also have the occasional mountain range such as the Wichita Mountains in particular. The Arbuckle Mountains are a major part of South Central Oklahoma's geography. In fact, Turner Falls, the highest waterfall in Oklahoma, or one of the highest waterfalls in Oklahoma, is located in this region. There are also several lakes in South Central Oklahoma, both natural and man-made. The Arbuckle Mountains have a network of caves because of the water that's seeping through the limestone bedrock. And now let's move to Central Oklahoma. This part of Oklahoma is dominated by the Oklahoma City metropolitan area. Oklahoma City is the capital and largest city in Oklahoma. And this part of Oklahoma, as well as South Central Oklahoma, is located in a region known as the Cross Timbers. You have the mix of the woodlands, the prairies, and this is sort of like a transition zone between west and east within Oklahoma. The further one travels within the state of Oklahoma, the wetter, more hilly, and mountainous the state becomes, the greener it becomes. Eastern Oklahoma is by far the most mountainous, hilliest, greenest, and wettest part of the state. This is a fact that is reinforced the further south one travels within the state. Parts of the Ozark and Wachita Mountains, which are associated with the states of Arkansas and Missouri, are located in Oklahoma, particularly eastern Oklahoma. The city of Tulsa, Oklahoma, in comparison to Oklahoma City, is somewhat hillier, greener, and much wetter. Although Tulsa is not part of the Ozarks region, the Ozarks are not located that far away from Tulsa. Northeastern Oklahoma, where Tulsa is located, is known as green country. There are a lot of pine trees, a lot of elm and oak trees in this area. Southeast Oklahoma has a higher prevalence of cypress trees, loblolly pines, and marshland. Eastern Oklahoma has the highest prevalence of lakes within the state of Oklahoma. Eastern Oklahoma also has part of the Washita National Forest, the oldest national forest in the United States of America. In general, Eastern Oklahoma is a region that is more lush, has more precipitation than any other part of Oklahoma. The southeast part of Oklahoma, particularly McCurtain County, is the wettest part of Oklahoma. This region can get as much as 50 inches of rain in a year. The state of Oklahoma has more landscapes and ecosystems than is given credit for. To understand the state of Oklahoma, one must understand that this state is like a cross-section of so many different regions, and it has so many different landforms and ecosystems because of that. If you like this video, check out other videos on this channel. If you would like to become a Patreon, click on the link in the description box. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and keep learning as much as you can about geography.